it's a very long story, so I will put it in a nutshell. Okay. Uh, growing up as a young lady, I was subjected to the absence of my father. Mm-hmm. He was not in my life as much as he should. I believe he should have been. Uh, I'm the youngest of five. And he left when I was three years old, which means I had no recollection of any time with him, any fun times, any experiences that I've had with him. And so he left me with nothing. And I felt mm. like it was personal, even though my two, my two brothers and two sisters and I are all his and my mom's. I took it personally because I was the only one with no recollection of any experiences with him. So I felt he left me. Therefore, I grew up bitter and angry because of his absence. Now, mind you, we would talk like every six or eight months or something, nothing significant because we were estranged. And so as an adult, I just pretty much became tired of the anger, tired of the bitterness, because every decision I made in my life was surrounded by the way I felt about my dad. Mm. I was surrounded by that feeling of abandonment and anger. So I got to the point well into my adulthood that I needed to let go of this anger because it was, I was entrapped. Okay. Mm. So, um, I decided that it was time to let it go. It was very difficult. Uh, there's one thing in the book that I really don't want to give away, but okay. I experienced something that helped me to forgive him. It was a very profound experience, one I did not know I needed, but it helped me to forgive my dad. And it allowed me to forgive him without expectation Mm -hmm. and to forgive him just organically. 